Hello. How we doing, everybody? It's great to be here today. Um, I am feeling kind of weird because uh, I've been watching shows with my friends kind of on like a weekly basis, and right now we're watching Attack on Titan. What's up, Brody? And don't tell me anything about Attack on Titan. Hey, what's up, Happy Math? Hey. Um, don't tell me anything about Attack on Titan. I have finished season one. I cannot have spoilers. But it's messing me up, man. It's so good. It's so good. But uh, uh, right now, we are here. And I'm trying to regroup into our Pokemon Crystal journey. Um, okay, good. Thanks, Brody. <laughs> Thanks for the reassurance. Um, all right. So here we have our squad. Um, off, sc off screen, I have uh, leveled them all up to level 40. Because last time we checked, we were at like level 35, 36. And I didn't want you guys to have to just watch me grind like forever. So right now we have our... Pampris the Lapras at level 40. We got that Ice Beam now, which is great. Um, Lucius the Espeon got that Psy Beam now, which is great. Um, we got Sinaiquil the Typhlosion got that Thunder Punch now. We're making moves. We got Rupert Grunt the Heracross. Nothing new there, but he's about to get something. Um, Tech the Skarmory, just rocking that fly in that defense right now. And then we've got Margo the Dunsparce, who is as Titanic as ever. Um... But I do have a couple TMs I wanna I wanna teach before we get started into the Pokemon League. And those are let me just pop up here. I wanna teach a Pokemon rollout. I don't know if it's gonna come in super handy, but I wanna teach it to Margo. Um, this is something that we could have done a long time ago, but I just held off on it. These TMs in this game are very precious because you can only use them once, and in a lot of cases, um, you only get one of them. So I'm gonna get rid of Rage, and we're gonna teach uh, Rollout to our to our girl Margo. And like Margo has some other TMs that she can learn, but not a ton. Yo, what's up, Dogleg? Um, yes, I'm glad to see you here too. Uh, he can uh, learn. A lot of TMs can Dunsparce, but I'm going to go with Rollout. And here we finally have Earthquake. <laughs> it looks like she don't care with that face. You are so right. Uh, she's just here to make some Pokemon faint. All right. Earthquake. I've decided to teach Earthquake to Rupert Grunt. I mean, obviously it was between him and Sinaiquil. But Earthquake is one of the best moves, the best TMs in the game. And we're going to go with Rupert. We'll get rid of Horn Tech. We never use it anyway. Rupert will have some other tough move decisions down the line. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then, finally, we have one more, if I can find it here. Um, maybe I can't. Yes, I can. Fire Punch. Um, I know we just kind of got Flame Wheel for our boy Sinaquil, but Fire Punch is going to be a stronger move. Um... Not too much stronger, but definitely stronger. And we want to keep Mud Slap. I, I like having that accuracy drop on there. So now we'll teach the Nyquil Fire Punch. So now he's a punching machine with that Thunder and Fire Punch. Um, well, all right. Um, I believe we've got enough items here. Let's see. Got a couple Max Revives. 13 Full Restore should do us... Yes, we've got plenty of Hyper Potions, plenty of Revives. That should be good um, for us to take on the Pokemon League here. Um, so, this is really exciting. I haven't really said this yet, but our goal on this stream is to take on the League, which I am so stoked on. Um, this might be kind of interesting. Um, uh, do I plan to do... Ah, yes I do, Brody. Thank you for using code. <laughs> Not today, obviously. Um, we probably won't have time for that, but later, for sure. Yeah, once we take on the Pokemon League, there is a pretty uh, sizable amount of stuff for us to do afterwards. So don't worry, the Crystal playthrough is not going away anytime soon. But, um, 
it's time to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm going to go ahead and pop a save here. And it will, like I said, it will be pretty interesting because we have level 40s, which the weakest Pokemon in this Pokemon League is going to be level 40. So we will be a little bit under level. Not terribly so. But let's give it a try. This is the ladder. Are we ready? There's no going back. I think we're ready. Let's roll. Mysterious, sparkly, icy place here. And this guy looks like he's wearing a mask. Let's see what he has to say. Welcome to the Pokemon League, SCG. Ooh, you know my name. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. Okay. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Whew, we got the gym leader music, baby. This is Elite Four Will. He's got psychic po Pokemon, like he said. Um, and he is gonna start with Zatu. <laughs> Will you beat him? I'm sure gonna try. I'm sure gonna try. And here we have Lucius. Now, Lucius is great. This is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> Because we can use Bite and Shadow Ball to hopefully take down um, some of his Pokemon. Now, Shadow Ball will attack... Ooh, that looks like a... Oh, wow. That was just a regular Bite. Lucius is mighty. And Psychic, very powerful move, can lower our special defense. Um, but, as you can see, we eat it really well. And this is such a great thing about having Espeon. Uh, because we can eat those Psychic attacks and deal super effective damage with Bite and Shadow Ball. Um, oh, we have the other Zatu. Will has two Zatus. Will's team is kind of silly. Um, and we'll kind of see more in a minute. Um, yeah, here I'm just going to stick with Lucius. So, this is his ace. It's at level 42. Or Do we still outspeed, hopefully? Yes! Um... Yeah, I think Lucius has at least at least one Carbos in there. Flinch. Okay. Um, no Gerald Giraffe. You're exactly right, Brody. Will does not have a Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig is a really cool um, Johto-specific psychic type. He doesn't have an Espeon either, which I feel like he should. But one thing I think they decided to do. He does have a Jinx. He also has a Slowbro. Um, which is very interesting, because both of those Pokemon are Pokemon that our friend Lorelei had in the first game. And she was the first gym leader um, in Pokemon Yellow. And I don't know how crazy intentional that was. Remember, we are challenging the Elite Four that we challenged in Pokemon Yellow. Like, canonically, that's what we're doing. Look at that one shot, man. That was amazing. Great job, Typhlosion. Um, and some things might look familiar in this Elite Four, because it's just been a couple of years, you know? Um, which I think is a really, really fun and really cool thing. I've been saying it the whole time. But uh, first and foremost, how are we doing, folks? I kind of forgot to ask you guys. I told you how I was doing. I was kind of... Uh, I was kind of unwell because of Attack on Titan, but uh, I'm happy that you're here with me today. Um, oh, you think Agatha's not here because she died? Well, you heard it here first, folks. Um, <laughs> Agatha is deceased. May she rest in peace. Um, so, Slowbro just raised his special defense a lot, which is not great. Bite attacks that special defense, so we're going to stick with Shadow Ball. And that's kind of why I went with Shadow Ball at first. Um, oh, wow. And this is going to raise her attack and defense. Or his attack and defense of the slow bro. But lower his speed. But with that, we should still be able to knock this out from here, I think. Not quite. Mm, this is gonna hurt. Wow. A critical hit, I see. Oh no. This thing's setting up. Okay, I got a plan. From here, we're gonna roll out. Oh, I thought for sure she was gonna use a potion. Uh, but that's okay. Um, that is great. We're just gonna let Margot keep rolling out against uh, his executor. I think I said her. Um, against Will's executor. 
Um, and here, again, we have another Gen 1 Pokemon. Don't want to see the Reflect too much because we're attacking with our physical attack. But since that missed, I'm going to kind of go to plan B here. Um, you can say that hit was critical. It sure was, my guy. Um, I'm playing with the big boys now. That's right, Tech. Thanks for being here. Um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and use Screech um, to see if I can lower that defense back again. Um, well, here... Let's see if I can get some flinch hacks going. Um, if not, fully paralyzed. Love to see it. Let's see. Let's do this, Margo. Come on now. Oh, that's a critical hit of my own flinch. Dang it. That's all right. Uh, we have more than enough firepower to clean this up. We'll just go out to Sinai Quill. Uh, the reflect faded. Fire punch. Easy. Easy fight. We have pretty good answers for Will there. He even got lucky with that crit. Awesome. Very good first fight. Very, very happy with that. I can't believe it, he says. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, SCG, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. I might have all these memorized. Not memorized, but they feel so familiar. Um... Ooh, if I wanted Margot to be more annoying, I could have put King's Rock on her. That's very interesting. I do currently have King's Rock on Espeon, and Espeon has that bite. So we got the flinch chance there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do like Margot having the uh, Quick Claw. Typhlosion's Hisuian form kind of looks like NyQuil. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of right. It's funny. Um, oh, I didn't realize we lost Lucius and... Uh, Margo. So let's heal them up. And let's see. I didn't really pay much attention to where we are right now. Um, will this do enough? It won't. I'll just use Hyper Potions. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So here we are. We're in some grass. Ooh, who is this person? They look kind of familiar. They kind of look like I don't know, maybe like, uh, maybe a ninja or something? Let's see who this person is. Fwahahaha. I am Koga of the Elite Four. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be a gym leader? He's been elevated. He got a promotion. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Fwahahaha. Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Oh yeah. Um, so this is Koga. Koga is so cool. Koga's team is kind of famously considered not very good. However, I think like thematically, it is perfect. It's so cool. It's so good. Um, I love it so much. I think they make a really, really... Uh, tech, I taught Earthquake to Heracross. Um, but let's see. What's up, Leo? Um, uh, am I doing any Nuzlocks? Maybe. Maybe at some point. Um, I'm not doing one right now, but I could totally see myself doing one in the future. Um, oh, baby. So, oh, he is baton passing immediately. Usually what that area dose likes to do... Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, he could be like Larry. You're so right. What a great play by Koga here. Going into the protect. All right, okay, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Sinaiquil because... Okay, so with Fortress, he likes to set spikes. Um, and what that does is it damages Pokemon that you switch in. So now if we switch in anybody, um, it's going to do damage. Thing about Fortress, it is a bug steel type. Um, you can find it in the headbutt trees, like we found uh, Heracross. And... It is a very good defensive Pokemon, but extremely weak to fire. So, with Sinaiquil going with that Fire Punch, easy peasy. Um, let's see, Muck. For Muck, I'm going to try out our newly taught Earthquake on Muck. Um, Lucius is going to be really good here. 
because Lucius got the fire. That's right. Uh, Lucius has those psychic moves. Um, oh, love earthquake. And but we have a lot of good answers to Koga. Um, Koga's whole thing is he wants to do some tricky stuff. Like he wants to increase his defense. He wants to increase his evasiveness. He wants to uh, set some spikes with Fortress. Um, but they give him a really good mix of poison and bug Pokemon. He's very tricky. He's very sneaky. He's very creepy. Um, like a ninja. Um, which is why I love his team so much. It's just a really cool thematic thing that speaks to his character as a whole. Um, I want to try to get Tech a little bit of experience here. And Venomoth, as uh, we learned in uh, Yellow, is one of his signature Pokemon, so it's cool that we see it here. Um, how can he avoid my Earthquake? Um, let's see. That's right. So Tech is getting confused. Ah, I got the gust! The gust in the air! Okay, good. Tech is not having very good luck with using Fly right now. Oh, so close. He might use a potion here, we'll see. Yeah, Venomoth has Psychic, but it's gonna be resisted by our, by our girl Tech here. Hopefully. Okay, great. Way to hit through the confusion. Love to see it. Okay. Um, and now all he's got left, he's got his Crobat, which is his Ace. Um, and this is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Ah, uh, for this, I'm gonna go into Lucius. Ah, oh, it is so cool. Love those wings on the bottom. Um, this is the evolved form of uh, Golbat in this game. And uh, let's see. Big Bat. That's right, Brody. Um, ah, so he likes to, like I said, increase his evasiveness. Let's hopefully we can hit. Great. You see? Um, so Crobat evolves from Golbat through friendship, um, which I considered. Oh, baby. That was a wonderful critical hit. Wow, that was awesome. Um, uh, I considered running Crobat in this playthrough um, to show off the friendship mechanic, but I decided to do that with SBR instead. And now we're just back to Area Dose. Um, let's see, you definitely want to use uh, for right away of Fortress. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, let's see, back to Area Dose. I'm just going to go into Sinai Quill. Oh, yes, fire. Yeah, I got you, Tech. 100%. Um, let's see. Because I went with the fly on Ariados at first, but he also likes to use double team with Ariados. So I'm, I'm thinking this fire punch will do the trick. Ariados is not very strong, unfortunately, even though it's just such a cool Pokemon for Koga to lead with. Um, so that's Koga. Again, um, his team isn't super strong. I just love it. I just think it's so thematically perfect. Ah, you have proven your worth. SCG got 8,800 because we used that amulet coin, baby. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Ha ha ha. Yes, poor little spider tech, I know. I know, I know. All right, not much going on here. We'll just do a couple super potions to get us healed up. I always like to really stock up on potions for the Elite Four. There we go. Just a little damage on everybody. It's probably from those spikes. All right. So here we have the magma. The magma. Uh, like we had in Claire's Gym. Um, we are going to open with Lucius. Nope, we don't need that. Um, because Fly is going to be weird on this person's first Pokemon. And here we have another surprise. We have the Lava. And who is that? That's a familiar shirtless face. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. He's also been promoted. He was the second one. Now he's the third one. He's moving up. Um, I always train to be the to the extreme because I believe in our potential. Oh, uh, that is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, SCG? I will ba you will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! 
Wipe him, Lucius. Lucius can. He can. Uh, let's see. Oh, Happy Math. If you've already answered before, will you be playing Gen 3 Emerald? Uh, Happy Math, I'm absolutely going to be playing Gen 3. Um, I don't know if that will be the next game we play. I will definitely be playing Emerald. I'm gonna, I'll say that right now. Like, I'm, I'm kind of trying to keep some things close, in the vest, close to the vest, but I will definitely be playing Emerald. Um, oh, wow. Jump Bluff can't learn Flash in the remakes of these games, but it can in the original. How about that? So, this is Hitmontop. He spins around. How cool. He is the third of the newly formed Hitmon trio. It was Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, but now we have Hitmontop. And, uh... Hitmontop is a really cool Pokemon. I love it. Yay! Yes! Thanks, Happy Math. I'm glad you're happy. This should one-shot. Oh, it does not. His Hitmontop loves to dig. Um, and since this is a two-turn attack, I, I'm just going to stick in. It should eat, Lucia should eat a dig pretty well. Um, that's why I didn't want to use Fly, because the timing could be super weird, um, and we'd never hit it. But one more side beam. That'll do the trick. Uh, Beyblade. <laughs> that's right, Brady. Um, love him on top. Um, it's kind of like a weird Pokemon, kind of like a finesse defensive uh, Pokemon compared to Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. But they wanted to showcase it here with Bruno. Now, one thing they should have done, Bruno famously has two Onyx in Pokemon Yellow. And we are going to switch. Um, and I always thought in this game they should have given him a Steelix instead of an Onyx. But what can you do? Um, his one Onyx remains, and we are just going to wipe... Wow, his Onyx is faster than our Lapras. Setting that Sandstorm, so now everybody's going to get damaged um, as we go. But one Surf will easily knock that out. It is four times super effective. Give Lapras a nice little warm-up. Hitmonlee. So, as you're going to see... Ooh, with the Sandstorm up, Tech's actually going to be a very good option. Um, because Tech's Steel-type is going to withstand the Sandstorm, as you'll see. Oh, I love the animation in this game. It hits Hitmonlee, but it does not hit Tech, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna fly. Oh, gosh dang it. It just keeps wanting to confuse us, man. I hate this. All right, fly. Dang it. And one thing, when it raises our attack like that, um, it's going to make the when we get hit by confusion, hit a little harder. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to use a full heal. I'm going to say, screw it. We'll see what he tries to do now. Double kick. Okay, not doing too much. Tech's got good defense. Um, oh, yeah, probably because it's Jasmine's ace. Yeah, I guess you're, I guess you're saying. I mean, that does make sense. Um, you could use Splash on an Onyx and it would still crumble to pieces. Absolutely right. Oh, yes, that was great. This fly is definitely going to kill it now. Um, kind of using its own sandstorm against him. And this was very silly because you get damaged, you keep going and crash when you use high jump kick and you miss. So now our tech is uh, plus two in attack. So we're going to see if she can sweep. Hitmonchan. Probably going into Hitmonchan because I'm probably going to see Thunder Punch or Fire Punch here. Um, Sandstorm subsided. Fun fact, I learned the move subsided from this game. I also learned the move critical from the, the word critical from Pokemon. How funny. Oh, we outspeed, baby. Not going to be fire punching here today. There we go. This should take it out easy with plus two attack, I would think. Mm. Love to see it. And now, Bruno's only got one more Pokemon. It is his ace from red, blue, and yellow, his Machamp. <sighs> Love those punches. The Fighting-type Pokemon have really cool, like, static animations like that. Um, we outspeed once again. That's wonderful. Cross Chop. It is a new, very powerful fighting move in this game. Um, and I might be... Might be only given to Machamp in this game. Oh, yes! Awesome! Okay, so healing off that confusion really helped us sweep with uh, Skarmory. Good work, Tech. Um, there we go. There's Bruno. He only has one new Pokemon. 
Uh, I would have liked to see like a Heracross on him, but adding him on top is still pretty cool. Why? How could we lose? Let's see. Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. That's all he says. He is uh, very humble in defeat, is Bruno. Um, did we lose anybody that fight? No. We're sitting pretty. Just use a couple super potions here. It will be great. All right. So now, uh, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with Rupert. Um, I'll go ahead and save you some time. This next Elite Four member is new. It is not a, uh, not a, whatchamacallit, previous character that we've seen. Um, also wouldn't exactly make sense for Bruno to have a Steelix since it's weak to fighting types. I guess that makes sense too. Um, so we have this uh, Dark Black Abyss. That seems pretty intimidating. Um, let's see. Ooh, beautiful hair. Um, a lot of people say Sunflora is the worst, but Togetic only learns double edge for damage by level up. That is so true. You can teach it some moves, but that's crazy. So I'm going to save again because I have anxiety. And we are going to talk to this beautiful woman. I am Karen of the Elite Four. Karen. Uh, you are SCG? How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. This is so cool to feature this new type like this as the fourth Elite Four member. It's awesome. I find their wild, tough image to be so appealing. And they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Period. Um, so... She trains the dark type. Famously, she has a couple members of her team that aren't quite the dark type, but they do have like a cool darkness theme. Um, so I like her team quite a lot. She does start with Umbreon. Uh, her Umbreon is very annoying tech, as we're gonna see. I brought in Rupert here, because I'm gonna use this Rock Smash, because um, fighting is good against dark, but Umbreon is known as a very bulky Pokemon. Very bulky, kind of defensive, likes to do things like sand attack. Um, I don't remember. Hers might know Toxic, um, which could be bad. I believe it also knows Confuse Ray, which we might see. No. Faint Attack is a new dark type move. It is like Swift. It never misses. But fortunately for us, Rupert Grunt is going to... I would love to see a defense drop here. Yeah! I called it. It was great. Let's see. Yeah, Faint Attack's not going to do much. Um, <laughs> anyone want to use Togetic? No. Um, let's see. There we go. Got nothing from the Sand Attack. That is a great start. Um, she, we might see Murkrow now. Oh no, Vileplume. Alright, so for Vileplume, I'll go ahead and go out to Sunnyquil. See, Vileplume in this game was kind of rebranded. Just a little bit. Um, because in the original game, it was just kind of like a regular grass type. But in this game, it's kind of like the moon to Bell Awesome's sun, you know? And they're like a split evolution of Gloom, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's why she has one in this game, which I think is neat. Now, Fire Punch should kill it in at least... Okay, I didn't know if it'd be a one-shot or not. Right, I hate to see that, but that's okay. I'm going to see if I can quick attack through this. And I can! That's why I love Quick Attack. It's so great. Um, it's annoying if you don't have a quick fighting type on your team. That's right, dude. That's right. We got Heracross. All right. So. Gengar. Love Gengar. One of the coolest Pokemon ever. What are we going to fight Gengar with, though? We'll just use Lucius. Mmm. Look at that sprite. I love that eye, like, gets a little mean. Gives you the stink eye does Gengar. Um, but this Gengar famously doesn't know very good moves. It might try to use Destiny Bond on us. Um, Destiny Bond is a move that if you knock out the Pokemon, it knocks out your Pokemon as well. Um, oh, just wants to set a curse. And she's gonna knock herself out in the process. Guys, this is going great. I was kind of worried about our lack of coverage at times. Um, but we are just, we are rolling right now. And I've got a great plan, because she's only got two Pokemon left. She's got this here, Murkrow, and she's also got her Ace Pokemon. Now, her Ace Pokemon is very strong. 
Um, but the plan I have might work pretty well. If we can get Margot going with a with a full head of steam, ooh, a nice critical hit against her ace, I think we might be able to knock it out pretty easy. But we'll see. We'll see if we can pull it off. I would love to knock out Murkrow here to have as much HP as possible, and we don't. I don't know, guys. My plan might not work. Mm. We could get a clutch quick claw. That would be amazing. Ugh, we miss anyway. What a travesty. I had such a great plan. Um, let's bring in... We'll bring in tech. Oh, Pursuit! Oh, I'm so glad that we got to see that, though. Uh, Pursuit is a dark type move. Um, you don't see it very often. Um, it is a move that doubles damage if you're trying to switch out, and it'll, like, get you as you're trying to switch out, hence the name Pursuit. It pursues you. That was really cool. It killed Margot, but it was still pretty cool. <laughs> this won't do much to tech. Steel is such a good defensive type in this game. So that is great. But her last Pokemon, like the boss Rocket, is Houndoom. Houndoom is so sick. I love it so much. Um, oh, I really wanted to use the rollout st strategy there, but... Ooh, Howl at the Moon. We're going to bring in Pampras. I don't know if one Surf will do the trick. Ah. I'm going to show something off. It knows Flamethrower. Very powerful. It'll be neutral on Lapras, but we should eat one. Okay, good. Paris Song is such a cool move. When you use it, both Pokemon will faint in three turns, and our Parish, parish count is three for both Pokemon. Now what you can do is you can, um, when they're down to their last Pokemon like Karen is, you can switch out your Pokemon to make sure it doesn't faint, but she has no more Pokemon to switch out to. So we have essentially guaranteed. <laughs> we'll just get a critical hit anyway. It's great. Your favorite boy, your favorite girl tech. I see, I see, Houndoom. But, sorry, uh, Snoop Dogg. We crit her from a one shot. How about that? So I didn't get to show off Paris Song, but I basically guaranteed that we won the fight even if some crazy stuff happened um, because there weren't enough turns for her to defeat all of our Pokemon before her Houndoom would faint. But with that, we defeat Karen. I love what Karen says, though. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. She has she has a really nice little speech. I always like I always like that one. Um, but with that, folks, we have defeated the Elite Four. Um, nothing too crazy. We've had we've had a few uh, a few missteps here and there. But we're doing great right now. Um, and I think we're going to fare pretty well against the champion. Um, she ain't no Karen, that's right. Um, uh, what am I doing? We'll do that. And then we'll use these hyper potions. Nope. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. So we'll let Pampras heal up. And we will let Margo heal up. So, you're not going to ever believe... Oh, we need to heal the... Uh, Paralysis on Typhlosion. Easy peasy. All right, so you're never gonna believe who's the champion. We're actually gonna start with our boy Sinaiquil because we wanna have that uh, Thunder Punch available. I'm gonna save right here. The champion room is so cool, as you're gonna see. Ooh, got these cool like dragon statues, I love it. Very mysterious. Love the brick on the side. Um, this got a really cool redesign from the gold and silver champion room. It's our boy Lance. He also got a promotion. <laughs> he is now the champion, which is super cool. Um, and I love that you get to have that episode with him um, against Team Rocket. But uh, with that, we're going to fight the champion. Here we go. I've been waiting for you. SCG, I knew that with your skills, 
would I knew your skills would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us, as the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion. I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. We're going to get a great battle theme right here, one we haven't heard before. And if you've listened to Silver Cave Band's cover, it's called Red. This battle theme will sound familiar. Um, so here's Lance. Here he is in all of his caped glory. Mmm, love this battle theme. Simply iconic. So he starts with Gyarados. Um, we obviously have Sunaikul here, which is a fire type. Um, you've grown to hate this battle theme. Oh no! Um, I mean, I've heard it a lot. Um, but... So here we're gonna try to use a Thunder Punch. I'm curious to see if we'll outspeed. We do, that's great. Hopefully this can knock it out in one hit because it's double super effective, but we'll see. Ah, uh, it does not. Okay, um, so Gyarados usually likes to set up uh, Rain Dance. They use it for all the bosses. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, I guess you're right. Um, and it's, it kind of gets reused over the, as the series goes. But we should still outspeed and knock out the Gyarados. Great. Um, so Gyarados likes to set up Rain Dance. One thing that Rain Dance can do, as we've kind of learned in our playthrough, is that it makes it that Thunder never misses. Mm, but he's going to go with Aerodactyl here. Very interesting play. Um, I do get it, though. Um, what do I want to use for Aerodactyl? really uh, waffling here. I'm going to stay in, actually. Um, because Lapras is going to be our ace in the hole. Um, definitely going to see Rock Slide here. Yes. Hopefully this doesn't kill me in one shot. It might, though. Um, I'd love to get one Thunder Punch off. I just know Sinaiquil is not going to be super useful in the rest of the fight. And it was a critical hit. It was a critical hit. Um, thunder, 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 Thunder. Then he's beaten. I should have learned Thunder. I don't have any electric Pokemon. <laughs> uh, let's see. What action replay is he using to decrease levels? I know, man. We're about to we're about to see. So with this, I am gonna go out to Pamp Risk because the rain is gonna boost our surf. I just hope we don't get unlucky with Rock Slide again, because this will be super effective. Okay, great. Um, Rock Slide can make you flinch, which we really didn't want to see. With the rain, this Surf should definitely knock out his Aerodactyl. Okay, great. Love to see it. Aerodactyl Rock Slide. Aerodactyl actually doesn't learn Rock Slide. That's what Tech is talking about. Um, so it's kind of bull crap that his knows Rock Slide. Because that's like the most powerful um, rock move. So he wants to switch out to Dragonite. Now we have Ice Beam for that. Um, but I would bet you anything that this is the Dragonite that knows Thunder. So I'm going to go into Lucius for now. Um, I love this little sprite of Dragonite. It looks so precious. Um, we're just going to roll the dice, see what we can do with, uh, Psy Beam. Just kind of hit it as hard as we can. Maybe get some flinches from King's Rock. Lucius is just a good kind of, ooh, nice confusion. Let's see if we can hurt it. Nah, not quite. This Dragonite likes to use Thunder Wave a lot like, um, what's her name? Claire's Dragon Dragonairs like to use Thunder Wave. A critical hit in Thunder. You hate to see it. Also, hitting through its confusion, which I hate as well. Confuse no more. This is great, though. We're gonna do this. Um, okay. I'm gonna see what we can do here. Because I'm confident we're going to be able to beat Lance. Because we got Ice Beam. Ice Beam's the ace in the hole. Ice Beam on Lapras. I'm going to see we can use this recharge turn. <laughs> this would have been so cool. I'm still going to try. Margo's going to eat that. Margo's going to eat that. There we go. 
Dragonite's gonna recharge. We can use another rollout. Is this gonna kill it though? Oh, guys. I really wanted my rollout to work. Gosh dang it, man. That's okay though. We'll just go into Rupert for now. Um, we'll just use strength to knock out this dragon. There we go. Um, <laughs> Margot never lets us down except when she does. It's so true. It's so true. So our boy Lance does have a Charizard, which we hate to see. Um, I'm just going to do this for now. I'm going to kind of sacrifice Rupert here. We're going to use our Moo Moo Milk. It's finally time to drink the milk. And we're going to heal Pampras. Um, oh yeah, Wing Attack. That'll be an easy one shot on Rupert Grunt. Yep, there he goes. Um, it's funny, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of playing with my food a little bit, as the expression goes. I feel very confident, uh, but now, <laughs> the milk! <laughs> but now Pampras is our only squad member left, and that is definitely a critical hit! Gosh dang it! Okay. Oh. Let's see. Oh, and it doesn't one-shot! I'm gonna heal again. Um... Oh, this is a fun battle, though. Uh, that's one thing. I mean, obviously, our friend Leo was talking about uh, Nuzlocks. In a Nuzlocke, if Pokemon die, you can't revive them, you can't use them again. Um, no, Pampras! I think we're okay. Because this Charizard's got to recharge now. And we can use Surf to knock it out. So now, what we're hoping to see... Um, Oh, sorry, I was saying about Nuzlocks. Since we're not doing a Nuzlocke, we're fine to use potions. I'm okay. I, I like, uh... I, I'm having a fun battle. I'm having a fun battle. So we're not gonna swap. Um, this one should not know... Um... Whatchamacallit? Thunder? The one that we saw before should know Thunder. But now, these Ice Beams should one-shot as long as we can tank some hits. Thunder Wave's not great, but let's see. Great. This Ice Beam should one-shot it. Because Dragonite is two, uh, four times weak to Ice. Ice Beam is uh, not the strongest Ice move, but probably the best. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to pick up Lapras on this playthrough, is for, is for Lance. Um, and now, this Dragonite is his ace. It's at level 50. It's got a special move, it's called Outrage. Um, and it's like Thrash, uh, but it's Dragon-type, which is super cool. And we're gonna see it here. It shouldn't knock us out, I don't think. Okay. Fully paralyzed. Guys. 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 Yeah. I'm cool using a, uh, a full restore here. We're not hardcore over here, we're just having fun. And being fully paralyzed there was making me not have fun. Oh, I thought that was a critical hit. This Ice Beam should do the trick, let's see. And there it goes. Whew! Guys, that was tougher than I thought. I really, I really started messing around there. But, with that... Boom, wrecked. You're right. Champion Lance was defeated. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. 5,000 Poke Dollar Yens. Um, whew. You have become truly powerful, SCG. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong, upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Ooh, who's that? Hello, Mary. This is a character we haven't really seen much, but she hosts a talk show with Professor Oak. Uh, man had an action replay and still lost. <laughs> That's so funny. He's a cheater. Um, so Professor Oak comes over here. He gives us a little pep talk, which is nice. Uh, ah, ICG, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon has made this happen. Your Pokémon were outstanding, too, because they believed in you as a trainer. They persevered. Congratulations, SCG. And then Mary wants to do a little interview, and we're just like... Lance is just like, I got this, dude. 
getting to be a bit too noisy. So now, we're gonna go through this sick door. <laughs> She's panicking. Ah, oh, the new Barktown music. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust for all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion, who has all the makings of greatness. SCG, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. What a speech there, Lance. Very eloquent. I love how they kind of, like, go out like that on the machine. So, we have our starter, Typhlosion, baby. Love to see it. Was able to knock out that Gyarados. That was right. S uh, Champion SCG, that's right. Uh, Tech says the end for now. It's true. There's much more to do. Uh, Rupert Grunt. Legend. Ah, uh, those little eyes. Espeon Lucius. Perfect. Tech the Skarmory, you're immortalized! Ugh, oh, awesome. Really sweeping Bruno, that was awesome. And Margo, ugh, oh, we love her. <laughs> she did not do much, <laughs> but we love her. Let's see. So, here Professor Oak gives you a rating on your Pokedex. I'm not focused on catching all the Pokemon when I play through these games. Some people are. Uh, but here, he's not going to give us a great rating. He says, you have a long way to go, he says. But now, we just have the credits. Lovely little track here. It's wonderful. Um, excuse me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Brody says his Pokemon Silver won't save, so he's stuck fighting Lance for all eternity. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Professor Rogue's rating. Dude, did you even try? <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> we're just trying to raise strong Mons, man. We're not uh, we're not worried about catching them all, at least not yet. And here we have our little Smoochum page. I'll speed through this just a little bit. <laughs> I love the ditto. <laughs> but key change. Um. What's great is that I have a speed up button here on my emulator, but when you defeat the Pokemon lead again, oh, this is actually a new pre-evolution of uh, Jigglypuff, Igglybuff, which is neat. The dancing ditto, you're right. Um, but when you beat the Pokemon lead again, league again, you can fast forward through the credits naturally in the game, like if you had like an actual copy on a cartridge, um, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> oh. Okay, Ta. I love how it slows down here. I haven't listened to this whole song in a while. Lovely! The end, but not the end. We are Pokemon Crystal playthrough, not to worry. It's alive and well, folks. We still got more to do. It's giving us the title screen here, and we are going to continue. The end, says Tech. So, you start back in the town where you begin, um, a lot like uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, but unlike Red, Blue, and Yellow, where really one of the only things you can do is catch Mewtwo, <laughs> Tech says there's nothing else, we swear. Uh, there's a lot more to do. Take one step, Professor Elm calls us. Hello, SCG. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. So we're going to swing by the lab, see what he's got. Ah, lovely. SCG, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto! So now, this is the part of the game where we get to go to Kanto and actually explore the region. Now, I will kind of say, um, the ship departs from Olivine City, but you knew that already, SCG. After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon. Uh, give my regards to Professor Oak in Kanto. So this is the part of the game where you can um, explore Kanto, like I said, 
but it's going to be a little bit different than um, the Kanto we explored in Red, Blue, and Yellow. It's not going to be its own full game. It's kind of like a compressed version, um, but it's still super fun. It's a really good, like, coda to this game. Um, let's go, Kanto. That's right. Now, let's see. Um, so we're going to go here to Olivine. I'm probably going to save this for our next stream. We're, we're, get, we're approaching an hour here. Um, let's see. Oh, you spawned there. I spawned in front of Lance forever. <laughs> That's funny because you're broken copy. Um, let's go, Campo. Happy math. I just saw you said that. Sorry. Um, so when we go down here, hold on, is my squad healed up? They all are. We're going to start with Margo. Um, so what we're going to do um, in our next episode here, we're going to pop down here and we are going to get on the SS, not the SS Anne, but the SS Aqua, which is super cool. And there's a lot more for us to do in our playthrough. We're going to explore Kanto. We're going to see what that has to offer. Um, there's going to be some more fun kind of like super boss type trainers we can see. Um, I think there are... Uh, please stream at this time so I can catch it as well. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely try. I'll definitely stream again here uh, for sure. Uh, happy math. Um, there are a few other things in Johto I think I might show off to you guys. Um, I have to show off my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, so we'll definitely do that before we finish our um, Crystal playthrough. There's still there's still a lot more to do, like I, like I keep saying. But for now... Um, defeating the Pokemon League, that was awesome, that was so much fun. Um, I'm comfortable calling it here today, but, uh, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. This was super fun. Um, uh, they say the SS hit an iceberg. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor SS, Ann. Um, but, uh, thanks for being here today. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching this after the fact. Super love that. And I will see you all next time. See you, Brody. Um, probably Monday. Um, I'm kind of starting to settle into like the Monday, Wednesday, Saturday schedule. That can vary a little bit, but that seems to be what it is currently. And um, with that, have a great rest of your Saturday, rest of your weekend. And I will see you all next time. Peace out, kitties.